Welcome our students to another episode of Grade 8, Episode 8, Life Events, Expository Writing. Previously, we discussed two types of writing, argumentative and two, expository. So in this episode, we will discuss expository writing. What is expository writing? Expository texts explain, clarify, or inform the reader about something. Here we have an example of an expository topic. A good environment can help support people with disabilities to improve their abilities to fully participate in everyday life. Plan and write a report of two paragraphs, not less than 10 sentences, showing the challenges that people with special needs are facing and how they can usually overcome them. So our topic will be people with disabilities. The first main idea will be the challenges that people with special needs are facing. Our second main idea will be how they can usually overcome them. So let's discuss the challenges that people with special needs are facing and how they can overcome them. The first main idea will include the challenges that people with special needs are facing. The second main idea will include how people with special needs can overcome these challenges. Both argumentative and expository writing have three different parts. First, introduction. Two, body paragraphs. And three, conclusion. The body paragraphs will split into two paragraphs, paragraph one and paragraph two. Let's look at the rubrics for checking writing. Rubrics, plan, exposition of ideas and coherence, paragraphing and number of sentences, grammar, spelling, handwriting and punctuation. Please be noted that two marks to be deducted from the total mark for changing the format. Of points, topics receive zero. Understanding the question will help you plan better. Why do we plan before writing? Authors always make a plan before they write. This helps them organize their ideas. So how to plan your ideas? This is the graphic organizers for your plan. An example of an expository topic. As we discussed before, our topic will be about people with disabilities. So we will write people with disabilities in the topic section. Then, as we discussed, the first main idea will include the challenges that people with special needs are facing. So we will write it at the first main idea. The second main idea, how they can usually overcome them. We will write it in the second main idea section. So the first main idea, the challenges that people with special needs are facing, and the second main idea, how people with special needs overcome the challenges. To get more information, please open the student's book, page 25. Outlining the first paragraph. So here we have lost her sight, lost her sight. So we will write losing sight under the challenges. The sentence will be, people with special needs face different challenges and difficulties such as losing sight. We have lack of books in Braille. So we will write lack of Braille books. And the sentence will be, the lack of books in Braille method is a major problem for the blind. The third idea will be rare disease. We will write it down, rare diseases. And the sentence will be, some physically challenged people have rare diseases. 
Our last idea for the first main idea, doctors told his family he probably would not survive. So the idea will be, will not survive. And the sentence, doctors sometimes believe that some of them will not survive. So the four sentences are, one, people with special needs face different challenges and difficulties such as losing sight. Two, the lack of books in braille method is a major problem for the blind. Three, some physically challenged people have rare diseases. And four, doctors sometimes believe that some of them will not survive. Let's outline the second paragraph. On the same page, we will have a new idea, reading books and poetry. So we will write it down, reading books. The sentence will be, people with special needs can overcome some of the life challenges by educating themselves through reading books. Our second idea or sub idea is determination or hope. So we will write it down, determination and hope. The sentence will be, they must not lose their determination and hope to be successful in life. Our third sub-idea is inspired people. We will write it down, inspire people. The sentence will be, achieving great goals will help them to inspire other people to follow their dreams. And our last sub-idea, social media. We will write it down, social media. And the sentence, social media opens the way for them to share their positive experience with people around the world. The four sentences are, one, people with special needs can overcome some of the life challenges by educating themselves through reading books. Two, they must not lose their determination and hope to be successful in life. Three, achieving great goals will help them to inspire other people to follow their dreams. And four, social media opens the way for them to share their positive experience with people around the world. The complete plan will be looking like this. So our topic, people with disabilities, our first paragraph, the challenges that people with special needs are facing, and the second paragraph, how people with special needs can usually overcome them. Now, are you ready to write? Writing an introduction. An introduction is the first main part of your writing. So why do we write an introduction? We write an introduction to get the reader's attention. Let's start the introduction. One way to write your introduction is to begin with a surprising fact about your topic. Another way is to ask a question like, have you ever or did you know? You can also paraphrase the topic sentence to write your introduction. So our topic sentence is, a good environment can help support people with disabilities to improve their abilities to fully participate in everyday life. So how to paraphrase our topic sentence? One, start your sentence from a different point of the original sentence. Two, use words that mean the same thing. And three, change the sentence structure. So the original text a safe environment can help support people with disabilities to improve their abilities to fully participate in everyday life. After paraphrasing, the sentence will be, people with special needs can develop themselves as well as their community if they live in a safe environment. So our introduction will be, people with special needs can develop themselves as well as their community if they live in a safe environment. So, we have done with the introduction. Let's go back to our sub-ideas and try to write the first body paragraph. 
our first paragraph will be about the challenges that people with special needs are facing. Here are the four sentences that we have discussed earlier. You must connect your sentences by using appropriate connectors. So let's see. People with special needs face different challenges and difficulties, such as losing sight. Unfortunately, the lack of books in Braille method is a major problem for the blind people. Moreover, some physically challenged people have rare diseases. Therefore, doctors sometimes believe that some of them will not survive. Please consider one punctuation marks, two spelling and grammar. Let's see the sentence. Unfortunately, the lack of books and prayer method are a major problem for the blind. So, let's see the word are. Are is not correct because prayer method is a singular and we use are for plural. So, the correct method is to use as. Please consider the punctuation mark like the capital letter uh, at the beginning of the sentence and using full stop at the end of your sentence and the comma after the connectors. Now let's go back to our sub ideas and try to write the second body paragraph. How people with special needs can usually overcome their problems. Here we have the four sentences that we have discussed earlier. Again, you must connect your sentences by using appropriate conjunctions. Let's read our second paragraph. People with special needs can overcome some of the life challenges by educating themselves through reading books. Additionally, they must not lose their determination and hope to be successful in life. Also, achieving great goals will help them to inspire people to follow their dreams. Fortunately, social media nowadays open the way for them to share their positive experience with people around the world. So now we have covered the introduction and the body paragraphs, including the first paragraph and the second paragraph. Why do you write conclusion? You write a closing sentence to wrap up your report. What do you write inside the conclusion? Highlight the importance of your topic. Please do not write in the conclusion any new information. Finally, I encourage people with special needs to do their best to overcome their challenges to achieve their goals and dreams. So now we have covered the introduction, the body paragraphs, including the first paragraph and the second paragraph, and the conclusion. The complete report. People with special needs can develop themselves as well as their community if they live in a safe environment. People with special needs face different challenges and difficulties, such as losing sight. Unfortunately, the lack of books and braille method is a major problem for the blind. Moreover, some physically challenged people have rare diseases. Therefore, doctors sometimes believe that some of them will not survive. People with special needs can overcome some of the life challenges by educating themselves through reading books. Additionally, they must not lose their determination and hope to be successful in life. Also, achieving great goals will help them to inspire people to follow their dreams. Fortunately, social media nowadays open the window for them to share their positive experience with people around the world. Finally, I encourage people with special needs to do their best to overcome their challenges to achieve their goals and dreams. In this episode, we have discussed how to plan an expository report, parts of an expository report, introduction, body paragraph one, main idea, sub-ideas, 
body paragraph 2, main idea, sub-ideas, and conclusion, summary. Thank you for watching. See you again.